North Israel is burning. My name is India, and today we are taking you into the heart of Israel's ongoing ecological crisis. Israel is facing some of the worst fires it has ever seen in the north. But here's the shocking part. These fires aren't just wildfires. They're being caused by Hezbollah rockets and drone attacks from Lebanon. North Israel is home to countless species of birds, mammals, and reptiles. But as the rockets rain down and the fires spread, these animals are being forced from their homes. They're injured, disoriented, and often left with nowhere to go. While this all may seem very concerning, there is one group of people working to save lives, animal lives. This Israeli wildlife hospital, which is not far from the Lebanon border, has become a critical sanctuary during this time of crisis. Today, we joined Mai, a resident of Northern Israel who was displaced from her home due to the war. She is part of the team that cares for birds like this small raptor who broke her wing. These birds are cared for and eventually released back to nature. Plus, the hospital also provides care for mammals and reptiles. Each one of these creatures has a unique story of survival, and this team here is giving them a second chance at life. Since the war began, we saw animals, for example, reptiles such as turtles being heavily injured because of fires, fires caused by rockets. And we saw, for example, a fox that was entrapped in a firing zone and came to us for, for care, and we managed to save him and release. Birds especially have been severely impacted, Many of the birds in northern Israel are migratory. They travel between Europe, Asia, and Africa. But now their natural flight paths are disrupted by smoke and explosions. We had a, a vast decline of nestlings, hatchlings, whatever coming in. First of all, because of the low presence of people going into firing zones, the people are not taking risks at helping wildlife. And the other reason is the wildfires, most probably when the parents may escape or fly away or run away, the younglings just sadly fall behind and they have no means of escaping. By saving these animals, the hospital is doing more than treating wounds. They're helping to ensure that Northern Israel's wildlife can recover and thrive in the future. Wildlife don't care if they are injured in Israel or in Syria and Lebanon, and we want to give them the best chances of survival once this happens. So in my vision, there is peace, and we can work together with other centers in Lebanon for this very noble cause. It's a powerful reminder that in times of conflict, it's not just people who suffer, our planet suffers too. But with compassion and care, we can help these animals heal and rebuild their homes. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.